What is equity of hands in poker and how to calculate it? Hello everyone, this is Codmaze and we present our new video. Let's move on to today's topic. This video is for those players who make decisions in poker only on the basis of intuition. Today we will try to add some method to your poker. Equity is one of the most important mathematical concepts in poker. If you constantly analyze the equity of your hand, it will help you make informed decisions about what to do and when. To call, fold, bet, raise, re-raise or go all in. The main goal in poker is to constantly move money and chips in your direction. Making decisions based on the concept of equity is a key to making this happen. Mathematics is an important component here, but not the only one. If you want to become a strong poker player, you need to use all the other information at the table along with mathematics. It will be a huge mistake to apply math in a vacuum. Hand equity. Hand equity or pot equity is defined as the percentage probability of winning the pot at any given point of the hand. This is what you theoretically own on the basis of your cards at any given moment. This is your probability of success. The evolution of a hand. To better understand equity and give you an idea of how a typical hand develops, let's look at an example with several players in the pot. This interesting exercise will help you understand how the equity of each hand changes before the flop, after the flop, after the turn, and finally after the river card. Note, you cannot know exactly what cards other players have. However, by observing your opponents, you can determine the ranges of hands that these players might have. The difficulty of determining pocket cards of other players increases significantly with more players in a hand. Developing the feeling of the strength of your hand compared to the range of the hands of other players is a skill that high level players are constantly striving to improve. Example 1. In this first example, we'll show equity with two players in the hand. Let's start with the fact that you have pocket aces and your heads up against the opponent's pocket queens. The equity of your hand before the flop, that is your pot equity, is approximately 82%. This means that you will win against pocket queens in 82% if the hand comes to showdown, and your opponent will win in the remaining 18%. In other words, you win about 4 out of 5 times. The more players in the pot, the less equity your hand has. Example 2. In the second example, you and your opponent have the same cards as before. Pocket aces and pocket queens again. But we want to add some complexity, that's why we will add two more players into the hand. The third player has 5-6 of spades and the fourth player has ace-10 of diamonds. All players remain until the end of the hand only for demonstration purposes. Let's look at each hand's equity on preflop. Pocket aces, 50% probability of winning. Pocket queens, 17%. 5-6 of spades, 21%. Ace-10 of diamonds, 12% probability. Note that almost all the equity that the third and fourth players received was lost from you. This is because you have the best hand. Pocket queens only slightly reduce their equity. At first glance, this does not seem fair. But again, who told you that poker is a fair game? We see the following flop. 4 of clubs, 7 of hearts and 8 of diamonds. What is the situation? 5-6 of spades made a straight. This hand now has 86% probability to win. Your pocket aces have dropped to 2% to win. What a twist! Pocket queens now have only 3% to win. Ace 10 of diamonds, 9%. This is because there's a chance for a run or run of flush or a straight. The turn card is a queen of diamonds. Your pocket aces now win with a probability of 0%. They're dead. The probability of winning for the pocket queens is 25%, since if the board pairs with 4, 7 or 8, then the hand will make a full house. And if the last queen comes out of the deck, the hand will make quads. 5-6 of spades are still ahead, probability of winning for this hand has dropped to 58%. The ace-10 of diamonds now has a flush draw and has 18% probability to win. How to calculate equity of a hand? The probability of winning for pocket queens is calculated as follows. First, there are 8 cards in the hands of the players at the table and there are 4 community cards on the board, that is 12 cards together. These are the cards that we know. There are 52 cards in the deck, that is, there are still 40 cards in the deck. Let's go further. There are 3 4s, 3 7s and 3 8s that will turn the hand into a full house, and there is one last queen that turns the hand into quads. Total we have 10 outs, divide 10 by 40 means 25%. Similar math is used to calculate the equity of each hand. The river card is another 8, and the pocket queens have won the hand with a full house. 
Equity and betting. As noted earlier, your hand equity is something that theoretically belongs to you. If you had x-ray vision and you could see exactly the cards of other players, then you would know how much equity each opponent has. It would help to know when to call, bet, raise or fold. For example, let's recall the equity of the hands on the turn. Since you have pocket aces, you can fold any bet because you know that you're drawing dead. The player with the pocket queens has 25% equity. If a player with a 6 or 5 of spades bets 6,000 to the pot of 7,000, the pot will be 13,000. Should the player with pocket queens call in this situation? Let's count. A player with pocket queens will have to bet 6,000 to win 19,000. 13 plus 6,000. Pot equity 32%. He could call, although he has 7% equity less than needed. To see the next card. But he has good implied odds. The river card can give him a full house, or four of a kind. He can win a lot of opponent's chips. He should look at the size of his opponent's stack and decide whether he is ready to chase a full house or quads. Final thoughts. When there are four players in a hand, it is extremely difficult to put them on hands. But this exercise gives an idea of how the equity changes and what each hand is worth at any given time. The main point of this video is the following. You can never know exactly which hands other players have, but by considering your probable equity, the other players' ranges of hands, and how they bet, call, fold, and raise, you can make informed decisions when determining your next move. Well, that's it. Now you have learned the basics of poker mathematics. That's all, guys. If you like it, then subscribe to our channel. More learning materials you can find on thecardmates.net.